What is honor? For millions of women and girls around the world, honor means that from the day you are born, your dreams don't matter. Honor means your destiny is known, your fate is decided, and you have no choice. Honor means being told who to love, what to wear, where to walk, how to speak, and how to think. Honor means you have no education, no voice, no stake in your future. Honor means your body isn't yours and it can be cut, torn, used by another against your will. For too many, honor can mean rape, mutilation, and death. And yet, despite the millions who suffer under this form of honor, most of us don't even know about it until now. My sister was telling me how unhappy she was in her marriage. And I said to her, come to me. She said, I can't because I have to think about honor. She didn't want to dishonor the family by leaving her husband. In the end, she set herself on fire. Rubina did, and she died. The concept of honor, it's very difficult to explain it to Western societies. Honor is something that is carried and contained in women and is there to be guarded by men. Anything from wearing short sleeves, refusing to wear a headscarf, being seen talking to a man, those things can be deemed dishonorable. Thousands of women have been detained for dressing un-Islamically. Like this woman screaming as she's pushed into a police car. The honor system in Muslim majority societies is really the basis of a lot of harm that is perpetuated against women. It's systematic, institutionalized misogyny. I was crying and begging him to stop. Then he put his hand on my mouth like this. I couldn't breathe. I was crying, but he used me anyway. The issue of forced marriages, child marriage, and honor abuse is a worldwide problem. When you do dissent with what is portrayed as mainstream belief, you are ostracized. There are threats of murder, there are threats of rape, physical mutilation. It's important to talk about what happens physically so that every human being, male and female, understand that the genitals of the female are cut. We don't need sympathy, empathy, pity. We need systematic change in the Muslim world. From Bahrain to Egypt, women have raised their voices and their fists in demanding universal rights. People of all backgrounds can make a difference. My sisters in solidarity, there has never been a better time than now to turn the tide. We need a whole army of women helping other women. We will speak up for our rights and we will bring change to our voice.